Alright, I ran out of time again because I was doing a bunch of other stuff I needed to do before I started this. And the last video kind of just ended. So we're still trying to finish this hangout before we start Yorimiya's story quest. And I believe this is the final ending I need here. My biggest dream is to become someone like Mr. Alkami. Once I finally make my fortune in architecture, I'll be able to buy anything I like. <laughs> in that case, I'm afraid you'll probably be disappointed. The reality is that the work of an architect is very difficult, and the pay is not lucrative at all. Believe me, I'm a perfect example. Uh, but how? Mr. Alkami just told us last night that you made a killing by building the Palace of Alcazarzare. He also said that as long as we graduate from his class, waves upon waves of people will reach out to us with private commissions, and we can just sit back and wait for Mora to fill up our pockets. It won't be long before I can put these miserable days behind me. I bet you I just realized this is the same girl who does, uh... Venti's voice. Now that I listen to this little kid talk more and more, it is starting to sound like Venti, which is slightly lower tone. I don't know if it's her, though. Erica Har Harlicker, Harlicker? Come on. And you all believed everything he said? Because they're idiots. But Mr. Alkami is really rich, isn't he? No. You? <laughs> it's pointless trying to argue this with you right now. You've already filled your heads with pipe dreams. Let's go, Traveler. Let's hear about Alkami's true plans from the man himself. Oh god, this is probably gonna end badly. Also, I don't know why my ping is so high. It's like at 88 and 90 when normally it's at 49 or 50, so... I think my connection's a little fucking weird. I just come up on him super What's wrong, Kai? You look quite flustered. Did one of my students offend you? Oh, they're little kids, what? Were the students not astute enough for your liking? I must implore you to go a bit easier on them. After all, they're nothing like the genius scholars you're used to dealing with at the academia. We don't need to strive for perfect understanding. As long as some knowledge has been passed on, that's good enough. Yeah, I'm mad at them. I'm even more upset that you're scamming people under the guise of teaching them about architecture. What was that blinking? Holy shit. The students are all here hoping for a quick way to make money. But we both know that an architect's life is hard and exhausting. Just a little while ago, I was toiling over the sixth draft of a design for a client. If your client is unhappy, you can't break ground. And the longer a project goes, the longer it takes for you to get paid in full. What's worse, if your client disappears in the middle of a project, good luck getting anything from them ever again! You know all of this just as well as I do. Why lie to them? <sighs> Look, Kai, you may be the light of Kashawa, but like I said, you still have a lot to learn about making more. You may deny it all you want. But it's a fact that in today's Sumeria, architecture is a terrible profession. Our clients care very little for the effort we pour into our designs. Instead of appreciating us, they spend all their time nitpicking details and demanding changes, often forcing all kinds of ridiculous ideas onto us. I suppose that's more or less true. Go on. Why should we cling on to a profession that's difficult and unrewarding? If the field is dying, then a person who still wants to make a good living will just have to change their strategy. If it's near impossible to make money as an architect, then why not just establish a training center and train other people to become architects in our stead? Wait, how does that make any sense? Aren't you just leading them into the same trap? We are already stuck, my friend. The more people we can lead into this pit and stack as padding beneath our feet, the more comfortable our lives will be. So instead of making money from architecture, you made your money from your students. That's right. And making money as an architect is a slow and agonizing process. In comparison, earning tuition from a training center is far easier. None of the students will ever know, however. In their eyes, all of my income was earned during my years as an architect. 
It's easy for them to fall for my promise. After all, everyone wants to live the dream of being the person who can spend millions without batting an eye. Hmm. The more students I get, the more money I earn. And the more real that dream becomes. And then what? Once they graduate, they'll still find out the truth about architecture and struggle to stay afloat amid all the problems we already talked about. When that happens, your facade will pop like a soap bubble. No one will believe you anymore. Ah, but that's just one way to look at the problem. No two people have the same amount of talent. Even if they fail to strike gold in the future, you can't, can't say, say that it's that my fault and mine alone. Oh, and, and also, also I, I never actually promised that they would achieve financial freedom as long as they become architects. All I did was nudge them toward that belief. I'm not even scared if they do come back and stir trouble. My training center has all the required permits and certifications. Even the Dendro Archon herself couldn't find fault in any part of my business. I have her on my team. I can pull her out right now and have her slap you with her dandro powers. You... How can you sleep at night knowing that you're doing all this? Tell me, is your heart carved out of brick and stone? No, it's carved out of a cold darkness. Oh. I can't believe that I once saw you as a decent human being. I... I am beyond disappointed in you. And that same goes to you. How many years has it been since you graduated from the academia? If you still can't accept something like this, do you just plan on keeping that worthless naivete of yours until the end of time? Only fools will see art as revered and sacred. In the end, art is just another business. Being successful at running a business is an art form in itself. I urge you to think about what I've said. Offloading your pain onto others is the only way a person can live comfortably in this world. As the light of the Kshalawa, you've accumulated plenty of fame and respect. It's high time that you use those resources to improve the circumstances of your own life. Think it over, Kara. I still believe our collaboration could be very fruitful. <sighs> He's gone. What do you plan to do now? I'm so mad, I feel a headache coming on. There's nothing more I can say to him. I'll resign from my position as instructor. You are suddenly glowing like the sun. So, you'll give up the Mora then? Of course. I'm sure you've realized that as long as I remained at the center, he would be able to use my name to advertise this place. Even if I just sit back and do nothing, others will be deceived and suffer because of me. He is right about one thing, though. These kinds of training centers are everywhere. And even if the academia was to find out about it, it's unlikely that they would take any real action against it. The most that they could accuse him of is false advertising. And even that would be hard to prove. There's something strange about all of this, Kave. Oh? Did you notice something else? Some of the students didn't appear to be very wealthy. Not everyone should be able to pay such exorbitant. No. Some of them didn't seem very wealthy. Yeah, you've got a point. The rate he gave me was 300,000 mora per lecture. That probably came out of the students' tuition. And who knows just how much he's been charging the students for attending his classes. If you're gambling everything on making it rich as an architect, are you really going to have the mora to pay for that kind of tuition? We can try asking them. Right. We should hurry. The students didn't believe a word I was telling them. They're still daydreaming about making millions. We're never going to get any information from them again if we let Alkami talk to them first. Let's move now before he's had the chance to react. Watch it be this little kid hurt everything. Oh, Mr. Kabe? What are, what are you, you doing, doing back here? Class finished a while ago, but you're still here. Why haven't you gone home? Because he's like, I have no parents. Uh, I wanted to stay for a little longer. I'm still thinking about everything you taught during the class. Even though a lot of it went right over my head, I still thought the houses you drew were really pretty. Of course they were. All the examples I drew were world-famous landmarks. Each one was the magnum opus of a celebrated architect. It's a good thing that you could recognize them for their beauty. The accumulation of knowledge is the first step to artistic expression. 
instead of rote memorization, you should try to relate and to understand, and after that, try to resonate with the work. Resonate? Yes. When I first got into architecture, there were many things about it that I couldn't understand at all. I would find a building to be beautiful, but have no idea what made it so good. And for most people, just being able to admire a building is enough. To become a good architect, however, you must also learn to assess and appraise. Going from admiration to assessment will take a lot of time and specialized knowledge. And I'm afraid that some superficial speed training won't be enough to take you there. Just as I thought. Becoming an architect won't be as easy as Mr. Alkami made it out to be, right? <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm not trying to crush your dreams. All I want to tell you is that an architect's life is not as carefree and easy as others may make it out to be. <sighs> I understand. Thank you for telling me the truth, Mr. Kabe. I think I'll still stay here for the time being, though since my family still hasn't paid everything off. Hmm? Paid off what? Sorry, I can't say anything more. Mr. Okami made it very clear that anyone who talks about it will be kicked out of the class. Don't listen to him. I am the most famous architect in Sumeru. If he kicks you out, then I'll just take you in instead. <sighs> really? Why would I pull your leg? I can see you have some talent. So as long as you get your fundamentals down, you should be able to pass the entrance exam and continue your studies at the academia. <sighs> then please keep this a secret for me, Mr. Kabe. <sighs> Truth be told, my family is not very well off, so we couldn't really afford the tuition for this class. Mr. Okami was the one who reached out to my parents. He told them that he knew a merchant by the name of Bahar and that we could get a loan from him. He told all the students that once we graduate, people would come flocking to commission us our projects. If everything went well, we'd be able to pay off everything in just a few years, and all the more we make after that would be ours. How much did your family borrow from this merchant? 900,000 mora. Uh, I think it was several million mora. And what was the interest rate? Uh, I'm not really sure. My parents were the ones who signed the contract. All I know is that the stack of papers was as thick as a slab of rock. Something doesn't feel right about all this. Yeah, I have a bad feeling too. Something about the whole thing feels dastardly familiar. We need to find that merchant to confirm. But if we were to confront him right now, there's no way he'd admit to anything. We can't pretend to be potential customers. Good idea. Hey, hey, tell me, me. do you, you know where we'd be able to find this merchant? We last saw him on the north shore of Port Ormos. Who knows if he's still in that area, though? Well, it'd still be worth taking a look. Architecture... No. The arts shouldn't be used as bait for a scam. We need to do something before the students' lives are ruined even further. He's right on the corner of where I am. I don't even need to fucking teleport. I could just run. I would say you scar to fly me halfway across, but he would only. You probably wouldn't even make it halfway. You know what? He would actually. I like this. Sorry, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I didn't even need to fly. Well, I am flying, but I that's not the type of flying I meant. Yeah. Hello. Oh. I don't think I've ever seen you guys before. Here for business. You're Fahar, right? Yes. May I ask who introduced you? This voice is weird. Alkami. My friend here wants to enroll in his architecture class, but they're a bit short on money. 
Alkami told us you're the man to go to in this kind of situation. That's right. Oh, sounds like his business is booming. How much do you need? Let me see. I'd say around three million mora. Oof. You call that a bit short on money? Anyway, since you're here because of Alkami, I can work things out for you. Make sure you sign the contract, though. Lots of people are borrowing money from me nowadays. Oh, what contract? Ah, here you go. Don't worry, there's nothing particularly unusual about it. All you need to do is pay back the loan in full within three years. And what if they won't be able to pay it back? What do you mean, won't be able to pay it back? Once you graduate from Alkami's place, you'll be making millions of more a year. Easy! At that point, paying this off will be a piece of cake. And even if you were to run into some difficulties and need to delay the installments, it's no big deal. We're all reasonable people here. If you can't pay quickly, you can just pay it back over a longer period. All that would change is your interest rates would get a little higher. It's hard work running a business. If we're taking risks to supply you with Mora, it's only fair that you take on a bit of the financial risk as well. Anyway, there's no point in tying yourself in knots over the contract. With the way you're reading every single line, it's like you're worried you're about to get scammed out of your whole life savings. Why would I lie to you? Tons of students at Alkami's place have signed the contract. Aren't they all doing pretty well for themselves? Hmm. I just did some calculations in my head. When you say the interest will get a little higher, do you mean it'll get higher than 30%? Of course, the contract did a great job of trying to obfuscate that fact. It only listed the amount that you'll have to repay every day, which gives the false impression that the amount hasn't actually increased by all that much. If you actually do the math, however, it's clear that the amount you need to pay on interest alone will amount to hundreds of thousands of mora per year. Most, Most people, people can't, can't even make, make that, that much, much more in a year. year. Your, Your greed really, really knows, knows no bounds. No bounds. Even, even my creditor doesn't dare, dare to raise rates, rates that high. high. Once, Once a family, family signed, signed onto a scheme like, like this, there's, there's no getting out. out. What are you trying to say, huh? We mean to put you in jail for your crimes. The Matra will happily answer that question. <laughs> I, figured I figured something was off when two well-dressed people came looking for a loan. Think you got the better of me? Too many people are sticking their noses where they don't belong these days. Luckily for me, though, this is a pretty secluded spot. Hey, come out and teach these guys a lesson! Uh, Aramites? Hmm. I've already fought off more than my fair share of them when I was working in the desert. There are only a few of them, so they shouldn't pose much of a threat. Marak, you're up! Kaveh, you're up. Lucky today. Oh my god. <laughs> Two well dressed people. I I mean their outfits are really they do stand out, but I don't know if I'd call it that. Catrell on attack. A touch of frost. Take it! <laughs> Capture the merchant. <laughs> Who are you and what do you want? I don't think we've done anything to hurt or offend you. So why go this far to destroy my livelihood? Debt has the power to append your whole life. I know very well just how miserable living in debt can be. But my debts are the culmination of many different factors, and my interest rate is still somewhat reasonable. As long as I continue to work with my situation in mind, my debts will eventually be paid off. But these students are different. They have neither the mental preparation nor the financial resources to pay back a debt like this. You sold the dreams of becoming an architect to the students as bait, urging them to take on insurmountable amounts of debt to satisfy your greed. Ha! Everyone knows there's no such thing as a free lunch. It's their own fault for falling into the trap. And if we're going to talk about greed, aren't those students the ones who are blinded by it? They completely ignore the risk that's right there in front of them. That's no excuse for your actions. Ha! And here, and here comes, comes the silver, silver tongue. tongue. Surely, Surely you use that to reel in the students as well. well. Even, Even now, now, many, many of, them of them are still hopelessly dreaming of striking gold, gold after they graduate. graduate. 
but they never will. People, People grow, grow by, by learning, learning from their, from their mistakes. mistakes. I hope, I hope this, this will be a valuable, valuable lesson to them. Let's, Let's head back, back to the academia and turn this guy over to the Matra. The Matra. They, should they should be able, be able to, to link him with Alkami's business. business. You bring a Fark back to the academia. Fuck or whatever. Loading symbols. I can actually see them now. They moved it because I kept complaining that I couldn't see the symbols because they were cut off on my TV. It was too far right at the bottom right and it was cut off. And then they updated it and moved it all the way up and over. I, d I don't know if it's because of what I said or not. Sino? Didn't think, think I would, I would run, run into, into you, you here. here. Hey, that's the best person we could run into. My, My vacation, vacation just ended, ended not too long, long ago. ago. So, so I'm going, going over some cases, cases at the academia. academia. Who's this? Oh. Sino is so serious, though. He has this air about him that when you run into him, you're just like, I don't want any trouble. <sighs> like, can you imagine running into him in a fucking, like, dark hallway in a pyramid and there's, like, sand everywhere and it's super dark and then you just turn around and he's just fucking there? I would be both happy to see him, but also kind of worried. I'd be like, what are you doing here? <sighs> you tell everything that happened to Sino. I see. Charging an interest rate over 30% indeed constitutes a crime, as it is highly likely that Alkami is also benefiting from this scheme. The Matra will open an investigation on him as well. The lighting in here. The training center will be closed until further notice. Any funds we manage to recover from the suspects will be returned to the students. It's unclear how much we'll be able to get back, however, given their extravagant spending. That should still be enough. Once the students realize the error of their ways, they won't fall so easily for such traps in the future. Anyway, thank you for your help. I hope this won't be too much trouble for you. It's no trouble. Just another day at work. How did you two get tangled up in this anyway? Um, Alkami tried to hire Kave as one of his instructors. Did you accept any more from him? Uh, no. <laughs> Oh my god, he has that air that makes me feel like that. What is that? I feel like I'm being pushed against the wall. <laughs> he, promised he promised to pay me 300,000 <laughs> more per lecture, but I resigned as soon as I finished the first session. I didn't take a single coin. Oh my god. Ah, uh, that's good. Hmm? What do you mean, that's good? Would you have you taken me into custody as well if I had actually accepted any more? Yes. I wouldn't have gone that far. But, had he insisted that you were also an active participant in his schemes, under our rules, we would have been required to open an investigation on you as well. Either way, though, I believe you are innocent in all of this. Had you actually been alright with making money through less than noble means, your life wouldn't be the mess it currently is. Hey, what was that? What do you mean my life is a mess? Uh, <clears throat> never mind. Your life is fine. Just messing, messing with me now, now aren't you? Let's, Let's get, back get back to business. <laughs> if Alkami's case can be successfully resolved, you'll be eligible for a monetary reward from the academia. Don't forget to pick it up after the fact. How the hell do the reflections work in this place? Because when he moved his hand like that, the purple... He doesn't even have purple on his hand. But on the, like, the floor behind him, it like glue, like it glowed purple as if though something was like, over it. And then on the back behind him, you see like this glistening where it looks like there's a, a window reflecting down onto the onto the ground, the floor, but you don't actually see where it's coming from. And it looks weird. It looks like water or something. Like it's reflecting something that's not there is basically what I'm trying to say. It looks kind of weird. Because if you look at it, the lady's dress is there and the post from the, lan the lantern is there. But whatever else is blue and yellow that's glittering like that, there's nothing on the wall that's casting that shadow or that reflection. So, like, what the hell is it? Huh. I didn't, I didn't even, even know, know there was, was such, such a thing. thing. I never I would have guessed. guessed. Uh, what, I'm what I'm trying, trying to say, to say is, is that we, we didn't, didn't report Alkami because, because, because we thought we could make some more off of it. The reward will be given regardless of your personal motivations. 
It was implemented with the intent of encouraging people to supply tips to the Matra. Fine. Is there anything else? Uh, no. I want to go back to the training center one more time and talk to some of the kids. Sure. But you should wait until tomorrow. My subordinates will shut down the center today and summon the students to gather information on the total amount of mora they've lost in the scam. All right, then I'll stay out of their way. I can talk to the kids tomorrow. I have a few other things to take care of, so I'll be off for now. If you want to follow up on this case, just come find me again, or ask one of the Matra. <sighs> that should finally be the end of that. Oh, who would have thought it would turn out like this? All I wanted was to find a new gig and earn some mora. To think I'll Kami would sink this low, it still makes me really upset. Still, I think I feel a little better now than when you found me back at the tavern. Oh? How so? It's a little ironic, but you could say it's because I've realized that there are many circumstances in the world that are even worse than my own. Now that I've seen such things firsthand, I suppose I've earned a new sense of appreciation for my life. How should I put it? I'm pretty, I'm pretty stubborn, stubborn when it comes, comes to my profession, so I, so I often argue, argue with my clients. The arguments, the arguments are usually extremely frustrating, frustrating. And, every and every once in a while I'd wonder if I only became an architect because fate wanted me to pay for some sins I'd committed in a previous life. Alkami's suggestion would have allowed me to quit my life as an architect and earn money solely from my reputation. But now that I've experienced that for myself, I can confidently say that I'd never want to do it again. And that's why he thinks you're too rigid when it comes to making Mora. Every, Every scholar has their, has their own, own sense, sense of pride, and a line, line that they don't, they don't like to cross. Of course, of course when, when faced with the vicissitudes of life, some, some will surrender these, these things to seek a more comfortable, comfortable life. I can understand yeah, that. Just, just speaking for myself, myself though, I don't, I don't think, think that's something I'd ever be able to do. The voice in my heart would just keep repeating one thing. The moment, the moment I turn, I turn away, away from my dreams would be the moment my career ends. You know, he's like a cross between Toma and Ito. If I stopped devoting everything to my creative activities, I'd be able to lead a more comfortable life. But at the same time, my sense of intuition and understanding for the arts would also begin to degrade. At that point, any materialistic ease I may have gained in life would just become another form of torment. In comparison, my current, my current life, life comes with its share of difficulties, but at least I'd never have to deal with that kind of existential reckoning. It's good to stay true to yourself. <laughs> I appreciate it. You may call me conceited for this, but I would also like to think I'm talented enough to be able to lead a decent life without compromising my pride. It's certainly not easy, but I want to keep at it. My thanks again for being such a great help throughout all of this. I'm planning, I'm planning to pay, to pay another, another visit, visit to those, those kids, kids tomorrow. tomorrow. Want to come with me? Sure, I'll come. All right, All right. I'll see you see tomorrow you then. then. Get, get some, some good rest. Rest is one thing I never get, my dear friend. <laughs> but... <clears throat> I wanna play in the water! Ugh. All right. Oh, wait until 8 a.m. the following day? I mean, it just says eight. It's not very clear. Because this is morning. Oh, the scenery here is wonderful. <laughs> I've landed the perfect job. Do they mean eight at night or whatever? This music makes me think of a castle. It makes me think of that event that they had once with Fischl. Like how the lighting changes and the water keeps moving. <laughs> Yeah, the last video took me forever because I had to complete my three bounties and I also had to uh, do a bunch of other stuff that I was doing. 
so I couldn't get back to this right away. I was trying to, but I didn't realize time had passed so quickly. So I had three bounties and then I had two uh, requests that I had to do other stuff. Diary Ruins of Conria. What is that about? Yeah, anytime they say Diary, it's it's Conria. That's another word for it. Because Rhine Daughter is the name of a girl who created Albedo, which means gold. The training center has been shut down, and the Madra have promised to return some of our tuition. But we've already spent so much time on this class. What should we do next? Mr. Kave said we can keep working on our fundamentals and try to get into the academia. Huh. Easier said than done. If it was easier to get into the academia, none of us would have signed up for the class in the first place. Only the best of the best can get into the academia studying on their own. Uh, Mr. Kave might be willing to teach us. Why? What reason does he have to stick around? <clears throat> so, you're the only ones that showed up today, huh? Huh? Kave's here! Now, that's Mr. Kave to you. I'm here as your instructor, so let's keep things a little more proper. I'll keep instructing you for a while longer. You can pass on the message to the other students. As long as someone wants to come, they can join the class. Oh, also, I'm usually pretty busy, so I'll only be able to teach architecture fundamentals on my days off. Another disclaimer. I can't promise that you'll all be able to understand everything I'm going to teach. Architecture is not an easy profession. Aesthetics aside, even the basics of safe design can already be a handful for most people. If you want to design safe buildings, you'll have to go through a systematic study of structural engineering. And just as a heads up, all of this will be a huge step up from the superficial stuff you were learning before. It'll take both talent and perseverance to get through the course. I don't want to hear anyone say that I didn't warn you. We'll try our best! <laughs> It seems some of you are really serious about this after all. All right, everyone, pack your stuff up. No need to prepare much for today's class. We're going to go on a quick field trip. Where to? You'll know once we get there. Come on, let's get going. We'll be off once everyone's grabbed their pencils and sketch pads. Just run away. You know, I wanted to try to get Kabe, but I didn't play towards the end, and then I switched the banners, so I didn't get a chance to get him. It's kind of funny, it's like I don't really care too much for a character at first, um, but then when I start spending more time with them and interacting with them, I realize that I do actually like them. That's been happening to me a lot, where there's some characters where I don't care for at first, and then after a while I do start to like them. It's weird. I don't know when they're gonna bring him back because he just aired. He probably won't be back for a while. Then again, I don't know because there's a lot of other four star characters that show up fucking constantly. Like all the basic generic characters. I say generic, but characters like Diona and Bennett and Fischl and Yan Fei and characters like that. Like, they show up on the banners all the time. Um, like, even right now, like, see, Yun Jin is there, and so is Chang Yun, and then, uh, I don't know why Liyue characters have to do with Inazuma characters, but they're there. 
because these are Inazuman. Yoimiya and Kirara are Inazuman, and so is Yaimiko. So I don't know why there's two Leoa characters on this banner. I don't understand that. It is weird. I don't know why they did that. Like, what? What the f- We could have made it all Inazuman characters, but I don't know. They could have added Toma and Hazo back onto it, or two other characters, but I guess that's a little too much. Chongyun and Yinjin are good characters, though, so I don't mind. I like them. I have them, so I don't care if they're on This lighthouse, lighthouse has been around for a long time, and I handled, and I handled its renovations when I first graduated from the academia. The point of today is not so much about the lighthouse as a building, however. I just want you to take a look at it and do a bit of self-reflection. If you were tasked today with designing a building, how would you want it to look like? Don't think about how you'd actually go about building it for now. Just put your ideas to paper and draw the prettiest building that comes to your mind. So, it can be, uh, any kind of building? Yep, as long as you think it'd look good. It doesn't even necessarily have to be a building. If you want, you can draw trees, the ocean, or even a garden area. Draw whatever you'd like. What's the point of this exercise? In my experience, it's best to approach the study of architecture from a point of personal interest rather than for the sake of a career. Both the study and practice of architectural design are extremely difficult. A person who's forced to work on projects that they don't resonate with will only struggle and suffer. So at least for today, I hope the students will be able to create something that they enjoy. There's no need to think about it too hard. They'll have plenty of time in the future to revisit the design and make changes. What do you think? Want to try your hand at it as well? Uh, don't, forget don't forget that this, this is a free, free class from Mr. Mr. Kave, the, the Light of the Kisharwar. On, on a normal, normal day, day, this would cost you 300,000 300, mora. Oh my fucking god. I like how I drew my teapot. Your ideal building is also your safe haven. She drew her serenity pot, that's hilarious. That's why he has that look on his face like, what? I do like my Serenity Pot a lot. I have like four different realms and they're all different. But I try to make them kind of similar, actually. What is with the wills? What is with that? Huh. Ah, it's a quest. Well, I don't know why I hit that. I meant to go up. Why do I do this? <laughs> Alright. Alright, so his are all done. I don't know, I do like Kave a lot. It, he looks a little different from his art, though. Like, all the other characters look exactly like they, their art. Like, their in-game models look exactly like their art, but he kind of doesn't. Like, all the other characters look like how they're supposed to. Like, they actually look like their art. But he kind of doesn't. His face looks a little different. 